Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. I always can't play uh, MQV files and some AVI files natively, so you have to use some apps to do that. One of the best apps is VLC Player. It's free in the App Store. How can we transfer these large movies and video files to the iPad or iPhone easily? The latest version of VLC Player supports Dropbox. You can have your movies in Dropbox and streaming them from this cloud service. Here is a pretty nifty guide how you can transfer these files wirelessly from a computer to your iPad or iPhone. OSX Daily has done a very cool guide to how you can transfer these files. First, of course, you will uh, need to download VLC Player and install it on your iOS device. And after you have done that, you open up the app and clicking on that symbol. And these settings opens. And down here, this feature, Wi-Fi Upload. Activate that and you get an IP address. This IP address you copy or type in into a web browser on your computer. So it doesn't matter if it's Chrome or Safari or whatever. Type this address in your web browser. When you have done that, this window opens in your web browser. As you can see here, you can drag and drop your video files directly to this window or you can click on that plus sign and choose which files you want to upload and after you have done that the videos this big mqv or avi files for example will transfer wirelessly to your ipad or iphone quite amazing and after you have done that your movie uh, library will update on your iPhone and iPad immediately after the file is transferred and then you can play it as normal as any movie. Quite cool really. I love this. And I actually have VLC player installed on this iPad so if I click on VLC player this window opens and as you can see my movie library is empty but up here you have no icon on the iPad version that icon is at the left side instead so if I click on that the settings opens and down here you can see that setting but I can't turn that on because I am not on Wi-Fi at the moment on my iPad so if I would be on Wi-Fi I can click on that and immediately I get that IP address you see before and that IP address I get there you should use in your web browser on your computer and drag and drop files to that and they get into this movie library when they are transferred Quite cool. Oh, that was a quite cool guide to how you can transfer movie files wirelessly to your iPad or iPhone using VLC Player. I will link to the guide below in the description text. I will link to the app in the App Store too in the description text below. And I add this video to my playlist Apps and uh, Apple and Wimp. Three playlists. Okay. Bye.